First reading, a reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 9, verses 1 to 4, and verses 17 to 19, and chapter 10, verse 1. There was a stalwart man from Benjamin named Kish, who was the son of Abel, son of Zeror, son of Berokal, son of Aphia, a Benjaminite. He had a son named Saul, who was a handsome young man. There was no other child of Israel more handsome than Saul. He stood head and shoulders above the people. Now the asses of Saul's father, Kish, had wandered off. Kish said to his son Saul, Take one of the servants with you and go out and hunt for the asses. Accordingly, they went through the hill country of Ephraim and through the land of Salisha. Not finding them there, they continued through the land of Shalim without success. They also went through the land of Benjamin, but they failed to find the animals. When Samuel caught sight of Saul, the Lord assured him, This is the man of whom I told you. He is to govern my people. Saul met Samuel in the gateway and said, Please tell me where the seer lives. Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. Go up ahead of me, to the high place and eat with me today. In the morning, before dismissing you, I will tell whatever you wish. Then, from a flask he had with him, Samuel poured oil on Saul's head, and he also kissed him, saying, The Lord anoints you commander over his heritage. You are to govern the Lord's people, Israel, and to save them from the grasp of their enemies round about. This will be the sign for you that the Lord has anointed you commander over his heritage. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Mark Chapter 2, verses 13 to 17 Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, Today's Gospel is about the call of Levi, an apostle, a tax collector. A tax collector is a person who is neglected, who is marginalized by the Jewish community for collecting tax for the Romans. So therefore they are not considered as one of their own. Always set aside, kept him aside. Jesus calls such a person, a Levi, and he says, follow me, son of Alphaeus, follow me. And he leaves everything and follows Jesus. A person who is neglected by the community for his, do for his job, for his duty, and he is considered as, he is not counted as one of them because of his work, of his duty. For such a person with, with that mentality, he knows that he is cornered by everyone, he is neglected by everyone because of his work. For such a lonely heart, when Jesus tells, follow me, that would be the most compassionate words to hear. And he left everything and followed. And that angered 
some Pharisees. And they and moreover, Jesus went to dine with the Levis, the tax collectors. So the Pharisees asked his disciples, why is your master eating with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus knows the intention, says, I came to call the sinners, not the righteous. So therefore, dear friends, we in our lives, we oftentimes we consider ourselves as those chosen people, those who are not sinners, and we would prefer to be of that elite group of Jesus. But he did not come for that. He came to call the sinners. The moment we realize that we are sinners, and the moment we actually realize our sins, and we have that heart that is contrite, then Jesus comes into that heart, and he dines there, and he calls us, follow me. That moment, even though we know that we are sinners, we will understand his compassionate words, and we will follow him. We only have to open our hearts and to be faithful to us and do a good confession with a contrite heart. Therefore, dear friends, let us ask the Holy Spirit to give us that heart that knows our sins and a contrite heart that invites Jesus into this heart. Amen.